The ArcGIS Pro tool that finds duplicate values in your data is now available to all license levels. So previously, Find Identical was only available with an advanced license, which is not what most people have. As of Pro 3.1, anybody with any license level can use the tool. So check you have at least 3.1. Do this by going to the project ribbon, go to about and check product info. Upgrade if not at 3.1 plus. Let's have a look at this tool. If we suspect there might be some duplicates in our attribute table that shouldn't be there, or we might have duplicate geometries, you know, that's repeated points, lines, or polygons, again, that we don't want, we can use the find identical tool. So let's go to the analysis ribbon and select tools. Type in identical in the search box. That will give us two tools, find and delete. Let's see if there are any duplicates first. Uh, click on find identical. The first box is the input layer, and that is going to be the layer that we potentially have duplicates. So either select from the drop down or just drag from the contents pane. Then select the output location. This is going to be a table with the results. If we just leave it as it has been auto populated, it will go to the default geodatabase. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Then we need to tell the tool what attribute fields to search. This can be just one field or multiple fields. And we can pick from the drop down menu. If we select the shape field, the tool will look for duplicate geometries, so any repeated points, lines, or polygons. We're going to search for duplicate text values on this name field. Then we're going to search on a second field. To select, we, all, we can just start typing the field name, then tab, and the whole name is shown. Then I recommend ticking the output only duplicate records, as this makes it much easier to read the results table. Then run the tool. Uh, the results table is then added to the project, so let's take a look at that. Uh, this is not a very convenient way to show the results, but that's the way they have done it. So just to decipher this, we really need to look at these two tables side by side. The in FID gives us the object ID of the source table. The feature sequence is telling us what rows are duplicated. So where the numbers are the same means those rows have the same values. And the feature sequence numbers just go in order. So one is the first batch of duplicates, two is the next batch, and so on. So these two rows have duplicate values because the feature sequence is the same. And the in FID is identifying the rows by their object ID. So we can see where the duplicates are. What is important to know is if we have specified more than one field to search, a value is only considered a duplicate if it has the identical values across all fields specified. So for example, these two features are considered duplicates because both fields have the same value, as are these, you know, nulls are considered as duplicates. These two features, on the other hand, are not considered duplicates, as while the field named alternative does have duplicate values, the name field has values that are not the same. So the tool does not report this feature as a duplicate. If you wanted to look for duplicates within individual fields, you'd need to run the tool twice, over one field and then the other. Having identified the duplicates, to remove them, we now go to the Delete Identical tool. Uh, this will delete all but the first occurrence of any duplicate values. So the setup is the same. Select the layer and the fields to find and then remove duplicate features. So the whole feature is going to be removed. There is no output feature here. So we're going to perform a delete on the input data set. So probably a good idea to enable undo in case we delete something we didn't expect. Run the tool. 
Now, uh, if we have a look at the attribute table, we can see the rows that had previously had duplicate values are no longer there. So we have cleaned up this data set. And that is the find and remove identical tool now available to all license levels in ArcGIS Pro.